you what, we get the uh, emails. We got a listener question says, "I'm headed to the mountains in a few weeks. Would a Glock 29 used with buffalo bore ammo be an acceptable gun and ammo to use if attacked by a bear in the mountains? Would it work against mountain lions, wolves, or moose? Just in case." Signed Scott. Well, the Glock 29 is a 10 millimeter. It's the baby Glock in 10 millimeter. So we're talking a small gun, easy to carry. Uh, let's see. I'm looking at, yeah, golly, these things are small. Um, that looks like probably about a three, I'm not finding the specs on it, but it's about a three inch barrel. They're, they're small. Um, this is one of those yes, but answers. First of all, good on you for looking at the ammo because the ammo is really the equation. It's interesting you mentioned the 10 millimeter ammo from Buffalo Bore. Tim Sundles over at Buffalo Bore just sent me a supply of 10 millimeter ammo. And he has like, I don't know, three different loads. Uh, I think two are mono metal and one is lead and maybe, maybe more than that. But they are stoked up and they are intended for exactly what you're talking about. So the question is, is it going to be adequate? I hope so. There's no, there's no way to know. If you get a mad bear coming at you, whatever you have is what you have. You know, Phil Shoemaker stopped a, a charging bear with a nine millimeter. Okay, good on him. The guy can shoot and he got lucky. Um, is a 10 millimeter enough? It is if it stops the bear, turns the bear. If he keeps coming and, and chews on you, it wasn't enough. But in that case, a 12 gauge shotgun might not have been enough. And a 338 Win Mag may not have been enough. You don't know. And just as with carrying protection, ballistic protection against two legged predators, it's all about risk management, it's all about compromises. We go with a smaller gun because we can carry it, even though we know a larger gun would be better if you needed it for self-defense. We carry handguns because we can carry those when we know that if we really, really could choose and we knew we were going into a gunfight, we would take a rifle. Okay? It's all a compromise. Having said that, you have to figure out, okay, what am I willing to carry? Will I carry a big 44 Magnum? No, too big, too heavy for some people. Okay, cool. What will you carry? Well, if Scott says he'll carry a, a Glock G29, a 10 millimeter subcompact Glock, okay, and he's going to put really good ammo in it, and the Buffalo Bore ammo is excellent for that, I think that's probably a good call. Understanding the trick there is you have to be able to place your shots. Now, this is hot ammo. It is, I mean, I, it's not over spec, but it's definitely hot. And in a teeny tiny little pistol like this, you're going to have a lot of recoil. Okay, you just are. So you need to go out and shoot it with that ammo. I would shoot it a lot with lighter weight ammo, lighter recoiling ammo and try that and try to get better and master it, but understand you're going to be shooting with the heavy stuff. Only hits count. Missing quickly does not do you any good, whether it's a two-legged or a four-legged predator. And as to the question of, you know, is it okay for bears? Would it work for wolves? Would it work for moose? And for people who say, moose, what are you talking about? Depending on where you are, I mean, there have been a number of people killed by moose. Uh, generally a mama moose who has a, a calf, springtime, and you get too close and she just decides to do the tango on top of you and just kills you. Um, so, you know, just, it's all a compromise. The main thing is, as we always say, you know, the rule one in a gunfight is to bring a gun. So have a gun, know how to use it, choose the best ammo you can, uh, and then you make a choice. Um, I typically in bear country, where I am now, I will carry a 10, 10 millimeter. I've got the Springfield Armory. I have several 1911s. I also uh, have been known to carry a seven shot 357 Magnum three inch barrel. And then I just got, as you know, 
This three inch barrel model 624 Smith and Wesson, it's like a 25 year old revolver, chambered in 44 Special. And I got some of the Buffalo Bore ammo for that. I also got some of the uh, Black Hills Honey Badger ammo for that, and it performs great. There's not a Honey Badger load in 10 millimeter yet. I wouldn't be surprised if they're not working on it because 10 millimeter definitely is making a comeback. So there you go.